message from the attack to lay out their demands. They're calling the attacks the Blacklist. The Blacklist. The Blacklist. Hello there. Sir from 17 once again. This is my Splinter Cell Blacklist Perfectionist Difficulty video walkthrough. This is Mission 8 and it's entitled Detention Center. So this is us sneaking in and then out of Guantanamo Bay. And that right there, if you open the door that that guy went in, he will turn around, allowing you to climb in through the window and then cruise, you know, all the way through this first section of the mission. This is a really fun level. I liked this one a lot. Uh, my only criticism of it is it's really dog heavy, but luckily enough, you can deal with the dogs in some creative ways, so they're not much of a problem. That being said, dogs are always bad guys. They're super bad every time you meet them. It's just there are certain situations that are easier than others. Excuse me. So, at first you don't have any gear except for the standard, you know, jumpsuit and this stun gun. This moment here, your biggest threat are the sniper guys. As soon as you move across to an area where there's a pipe, which you can see on the left of me here, although it is a little dark, so I apologise in advance for the darkness. Oh, I'm going for this one instead, so maybe this is the better one. But once you climb this pipe, it's going to enable you to shimmy around this entire courtyard, and it makes stealthing it significantly easier. I do not recommend climbing higher than this. I don't know if you can, actually. I don't think you can. Because when you're shimmying on those bits, that right there was Sam going too far because, the once again, the animations and the analog and things. Occasionally, Sam doesn't do what you want him to do, and it's super annoying on the pipes. Like... For the most, the controls on the game are great, but every so often, he's super sticky on a pipe or super sticky on a ledge, and it costs you. And sometimes it's human error, sometimes it's just the game not being as good as it should be. So, it's one of the the few faults with, with how the game performs. But be under no illusion here, folks. This game is fantastic, you know. When it comes to, to bad games, this is not even in that category because it's it does everything's so well there are just minor things that you notice because everything else is so so well honed so so well done but shoot me over here then drop you don't have to jump up there's the six times hostiles undisturbed bonus and then as we move up here this is one of the toughest sections just because the ai like there's a guy here who just kept spotting me every time i mean it took me about four or five goes i just couldn't get it down it was this guy here for instance, if you're going to cover up against this piece of concrete too quickly, he'll see you. You know, If you get in front of him when he's walking along this way, he'll see you. So many situations. Like If I moved to cover just then before I waited for the guy to my right to turn, so you notice how he turns just then, he'll see you. you know, there's a lot of little systems at play here that you've really got to figure out when you're doing it. For instance, when he starts walking, we can walk across here and not get seen by the guy on our right, but the guy on our right will see us a little bit if we aren't fast enough. Similar here, if we're too fast, he will see us, because, you know, the detection on this difficulty is really high. They, they do some crazy things. But now this is done, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pushing towards where that truck is in front of me, and do you see the light on the wall? Just past the light, you can see a shutter door and a window. That is where we're climbing into, but the problem is on the other side of this rig, there's a there's a soldier who's going to be patrolling, and he's going to be causing havoc. And if you try and go now, he's going to see you. You're going to be all the way at the other side of the yard. You're going to have to stealth all the way back here. So the choice is, is wait, which I'm going to do, and, and see what he does, see where he goes. And as soon as you see that opening, get to that, that window, get inside, get that checkpoint. And I'm... I don't have a map right now and I'm really missing it because the map tells you where people are facing, it tells you where your holes are and I decide to have a little glance, you see how he's walking that way, there's my cue, climb in and how unlucky is that? So firstly, if the damn stun gun didn't have a torch on it, for whatever reason it's got a torch, I might have been able to sit on that desk and just play dead, but it didn't so I had to take him out and what are the chances that he's patrolling at that very instance that he fucks that run up and I don't get a flawless undisturbed bonus it's it's video games to a T that right there guys sometimes you just get screwed it's hilarious but it happens 
So now we're back in our sexy spandex. We've also got a, a new crossbow, which is just a slightly longer range version of the stun gun that fires different ammunition depending on if you own it, which I don't. And this courtyard here, the path I take is on the right. And you'll notice I'm having a whole bunch of trouble from people glancing over my way as I tried to climb over that barrier. And it turns out I don't think you can climb over the barrier. So if you're wondering why I didn't just hop over cover and then hide on the other side, the game doesn't let you. And I was far too deep before I realised that. On this side though it does. And I was thinking, there's got to be a piece of material that I can cut or a cheeky hole in the fence, you know, just to give me a stealth path into this next camp. There isn't, guys. You've got to wait for everybody to not be looking so you can sneak through the front gate, which makes it harder for the player. And right there, you see me? As soon as I start getting noticed, immediately press B to go into cover. The notice goes down. Just like Hitman Absolution, it's a strange mechanic, but sometimes it works wonders. And then we're in this warehouse. We've just got a checkpoint, and we can progress on to the next part of the level. So, <laughs> this is silly, this. There's pipes on this roof. There's also holes in the cargo bay in the shelves to go through. And there is a quick path to get to the window I'm going to be using. But the one I'm about to show you isn't it. I don't know what I was doing. I was just, you know, climbing pipes and oblivious to, to efficiency. You know, I didn't have my brain plugged in. I was just doing my thing. And there is the window. And I'm climbing up this thinking it's going to take me somehow closer to that window and it doesn't so instead I end up going all the way around here to this pipe that takes me all the way around there so that I can climb up another shelf just to get to the bloody window so not the 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 best path in the warehouse but it gets the job done I guess and wastes a couple minutes of your life which is never fun <laughs> But later on in the game, there's a couple of options where you get to kill people. And whenever the mission says, you know, exercise the fifth initiative or something like that, or the fifth echelon freedom, that is essentially a sanctioned kill. That does not count towards your achievement, and if you do it, you will still get it. So, something to bear in mind there, folks. But, there's a checkpoint just before you come out of this window, uh, because this next area is quite challenging. Not only are there guards patrolling the camp, but there's also a dog. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ignore the dog and probably most of the guards. Because if you go out onto the road that I'm facing, there is a much quicker path through this entire mess. But did you see that just then? There's a guy moving through that tent cop blocking me. He turns around, somehow doesn't even glance me. There's a dog barking which shits me up, so I'm pushing forward as quick as I can. Little tip as well, if you if you tap B to try and do the dash on the ground, every so often it enables you to cover a little bit more distance and get detected a little bit longer. It's not gonna, you know, work in every situation, but if you just need that little bit of distance to get in cover, I recommend doing it. Uh, just be aware that every so often you're going to, to cover and you'll get fucked. So, sneak around here. The only thing to bear in mind is to our right, there's an armoured guy with a shotgun, and there's also a standard soldier patrolling. What you're going to do here is you're going to wait for the armoured guy because he's going to walk all the way over to this porter cabin thing that we're stood behind. He's going to turn with his back to us and he's going to walk off. When he does that, we're going to move to to where the waypoint is and we're going to get through this next part of the level. So let's watch him. There he is. Time to move. So right now... You can use this little office building to, to wait out the other soldier, get in the shadows, push forward here. I tried to climb up this, but I don't think you can unless you stood up. And look at that bonus. 14 people, undisturbed, 4,750. So this part here, you can probably do it without neutralizing this sniper, but if you do take him out, it makes this next sequence much easier. Uh, funny fact, one time when I pressed climb or mantle to get over this side Sam didn't hold on to it and enable me to drop down so he literally dashed over it and fell what is that 15 feet or something to the floor and nobody noticed the hard landing at all I have no idea how it happened or how it worked it was funny but 
You know, it kind of broke the realism of the game, how they hear everything when you walk through a puddle. I just jumped off a very high structure into mud and made a lot of noise, and nobody cared. So, another interesting thing here. There's a dog on the other side of the fence. He's about, give or take, 20 yards away from you to my right. He can sense you here if he's close enough to this side. His positioning and his path is kind of random on where he goes, so right now he's not close enough to detect me, and thus I'm not having any trouble. But if you hear the dog bark, and you hear him respond, he will know exactly where you are, so you need to bear in mind, folks, because it will get you caught. It happened to me when I was recording, I wasn't pleased. There's the dog barking, there's the dog, there's the crossbow bolt to stun him. You'll notice he's got a little flak jacket on, so make sure you aim for the fur. And then the only thing left now is to climb up here. The thing I like the most about this level is it reminds me of Pandora Tomorrow. Because the, the areas are very similar. There's a lot of fences, you know. I'm talking about the early levels in the, the forests. You know, when you're going through the camp, when you're following the dude who's walking around giving the codes. You know, Pandora Tomorrow, you know, that guy. And it really reminds me of that. And it says it's just as clean as that level as well, because if you knew where you were going... On, on that on that particular mission you could get through it really cleanly which brings me to another important point how the hell did that high definition collection not get ported to Xbox why the hell is that a PlayStation exclusive when every single one of those games appeared on the Xbox doesn't make any sense and it sucks as well because I want to play those games and earn their achievements, and if I if I was able to do that, I would make you no know, guides for each of them. But as it stands, I don't have any interest in trophies because they just don't you know they don't tickle my my crack receptor in my brain, and it's not the same. Like I've I've never played a one of those high definition collections just purely for trophies, and it just wouldn't be the same, and that sucks. But this is the end of the mission anyway, guys. So all that's left to be done now is to go back down towards your boat. This is a ghost ranking, I believe. So this is going to add to your ghost mastery if you follow these paths. And I'm going to see you in the next mission. So thank you very much for watching. And you take care now.